Dragon Age the Vilgard has to be the most pathetic woke game I've seen in my life. The top surgery scars are one thing. You know what? I'm not even that mad about it. You don't even have to do them. They're completely optional for character creation. But this cutscene that's been making the rounds is inexcusable. When you think of a fantasy setting, you're not sitting here to be lectured about misgendering somebody. I don't care. This is not a GameStop. There's no it's ma'am moment here. Let's just watch this. Everything from it is just terrible. Pounding that you know, first of all, Isabella is still a baddie, but they ruined her character design. This individual over here, I think that's Toric or Torin, or I don't even fucking care at this point. They're a non-binary character, and their design just looks fucking horrendous. And this cutscene, who knows when this, I don't even, I haven't played the game yet. I hope this cutscene isn't like a main quest cutscene, because if they took the time to write this cutscene and put it into the main quest... They are super fucking unaware who their audience is. Why are they injecting this crap? You're going to see this. So they're lecturing about misgendering here in a minute to both of these individuals over here on the left. Snake's nose. She's still holding the ruby in her other hand. Maker's panties. I was so proud. Oh, uh, um. Ah, shit. They, they're still holding it. So, so they misgendered them. They had to correct. Oh, they they're still holding it. So they had to say they, they're. They had to clarify the proper pronoun. Fucking pronouns! And again, character designs. Oh my god. Horrendous. Horrendous. Thankfully, there's a skip on the bottom right. It's covering my camera, but there's a skip option. Thankfully, you could skip through this bullshit. Nobody wants to hear lectures about pronouns in a fantasy setting. I don't care how special you think people need to feel represented and stuff in games. This ain't it. Just have the character in the game. Just have a gay character in the game and have them be a good character. Don't make the best trait be that they're gay. And don't have a fucking lecture in the middle of the fucking game where we have to hear about how to properly act when we misgender somebody. Because you're going to see it. They literally say apologizing is not good enough. Watch this. Sorry. What are you doing? Pulling a barb. Oh. Okay. A Barv? Tradition in the Lords of Fortune, from one of our old members, Barv. Good guy, but like most of us, his plans went sideways a lot. Ba so, pulling a Barv is essentially punishing yourself with a physical challenge, like doing some push-ups. Okay? Watch, watch why you do it, though. Bad blood among your crew's not good for morale, but there's not always time for big, drawn-out apologies. So, when one of us screws up and we know we've screwed up, we do a quick ten to put it right. Pull so having a big crew and having bad blood in it, you know, there's not a lot of time to have drawn out apologies. That apologies aren't good enough. So do a quick 10 push-ups to show that you're sorry for whoever you offend. Go on. Pulling above. Oh, there we go. So she pulled a barve because she said the wrong pronoun, even though the individual wasn't offended. Nobody got upset. Nobody was pissed off. Nobody was like, you misgendered me. They literally make this whole scene about themselves, which is what's ironic about it all. They, they think that they're the center of attention when they're really not. This individual, Isabella, makes this whole production, this whole conversation out of nowhere that was not about misgendering at all. All of a sudden, oh my gosh, they, there, I'm so sorry. And then they go and do the push-ups to, to make the whole conversation themselves. It's all about attention. It's all moral grandstanding and virtue signaling and standing on a woke platform just so you could be like, hey guys, look, I'm pandering. That's all it really is. That's all. They really self-injected this. Like the people that wrote this probably act like this in real life. I'm glad the Lords of Fortune have Tosh's back. Oh, Tosh isn't the first non-binary member of the Lords. Oh, Tosh is not the whole first non-binary moment to, uh, person. So it's like, oh yeah, just fuck him. Doesn't matter, right? Really? It was a little before your time, but Horlix was one of ours. Huh. Bastard looked better than I did in a dress or pants. And that's what's funny about this is they're, they're saying non-binary, right? So... Holix was the first non-binary in their whole little group. She literally says bastard. That's not non-binary. Con somebody a bastard is actually a masculine gender pronoun. 
Only men could be bastards. So whoever wrote this is a complete imbecile. Member of the Lords. Really? It was a little before your time, but Horlicks was one of ours. Huh. Bastard looked better than I did in a dress or pants. Bastard looked better than I did in a dress or pants. So they can't even write their whole pronouns right. And that's what I think about activists. They don't they don't really care. They just want to be like, oh, look at me. Look at me. I'm I'm man this Isabella is literally mansplaining what misgendering is in this cutscene, which I hope again, I hope this isn't a main quest cutscene, because that would be cringe. This is probably the worst cutscene I've seen in a video game, guys. It's getting worse and worse and worse. And I had people come to my chat, oh, you're 40 and you're getting mad about it. No, it's not getting mad. It's giving an opinion. It's giving a very passionate opinion. And guess what? This game could have all the 9s out of 10s. It could have all the great user scores when those finally come out. That's fair. But it doesn't invalidate the opinion that this cutscene was self-injected. And it's a self-insert. And it's cringe. And this is woke ideology literally in a fantasy game where it doesn't belong. At all. And out of them, too. <laughs> right? Any reason you can't just apologize? So the character saying you can't just apologize? Why not? And now here comes the mansplaining. Sometimes people say, oops, sorry, and hope that fixes it. But they just want to get the whole thing over with. So uh, saying in real life, oops, sorry, this is all actual real life commentary. This is how the writers feel in real life when they get misgendered. And now luckily I'm in Texas when I've met somebody that I've misgendered. They don't throw a shit fit. They don't look snobby. They don't try to hold it against, at least from my experience. They're just like, oh, I prefer this, but it's cool. And then they'll just tell me, call me by my name, right? Now they're saying in this, it's not good enough. They're literally giving you a lecture on how to not misgender people. To carry it over to the real world. That's what this is. This is literally ideologies and indoctrination put into a video game. This is not a fantasy fictional thing right here. This is real political nonsense in a game. Trust me, I know. But pulling a bath, you sweat a little. Makes you think about it a little more. Shows the other person you mean it. That you have to demean yourself and get physical with yourself. And get down on the ground on your fucking hands. And do some push-ups and labor to show that you're so sorry. This is almost like licking boots. Like when you see white people lick the boots of like these black militant groups. Because they feel sorry for their ancestors. All this crap. This is literally like almost borderline degrading yourself. Getting down and pushing up because you misgendered somebody. What if they mean it when they say they're sorry though? See like what if they mean it when they say they're sorry? Now watch this. It's going to be so condescending here. And that's the other reason. Some people mess up and get all dramatic. They By the way, check out this awesome facial animations right and here. And that's the other reason. Some people mess up and get all dramatic. The mouth wasn't even moving with the dialogue. Great fucking video game development here. You're more worried about injecting a political commentary scene about misgendering than actually taking the time to properly animate your video game. Fuck you, Bioware. They make it about them. See, they're making it about them as she's making this whole cutscene and conversation about them. This is how all Wokies act. It's all about them, guys. It's all about them. Oh, you know, I didn't mean it right. I'd never do that on purpose. Condensate, condensate, sending right here. Listen. Oh, you know, I didn't mean it right. I'd never do that on purpose. They feel so bad about it that it's on everyone else to smooth it over and make them feel better. Pot calling the pet kettle black. I've seen video clips of people that get misgendered, like the GameStop man. The, it's ma'am. And they throw things, they vandalize, they threaten physical violence, and everybody in the vicinity has to coddle them and, and calm them down. To even put that as a dialogue in the game. <sighs> no. Okay, I could forgive the top surgery scars again. I could look past certain things. But this, to me, is probably the biggest example of something that is DEI- LGBTQ woke bullshit in a fucking video game. We don't need this. Video games are meant for everybody. And people can say, well, don't you think gay gamers should feel represented and stuff too? Yeah. We don't need a cutscene though. We don't need cutscenes for that. Yikes. Oh, oh, okay. Yes, some people might do that. Pulling a bath puts it on the person who screwed up. 
They made the mess. They fix it. So pulling a bar puts it on the person who screwed up. They made the mess. They fix it. There's no, oh, my bad. Right? Oh, you're the one. Like, it's it's shaming. Like, imagine all the big problems in the world and being misgendered is something where you have to be physically punished. That's what they're pushing here. That's what they're pushing here. So, fuck this game. I I was thinking about checking it out after the user scores come out. But, my God, does this cutscene give me a fucking headache. So, what are you guys' thoughts? Let me know in the comment section down below. Subscribe if you're brand new. I'll see you on the next one. Thank you, guys.